We are back with some more of the Mad 2 Ragdoll Dimension. These adventures have been absolutely hilarious. But Mr. Ragdoll, you may be in with a chance of a break here. You see, I can't think of anything to do today. I've got no ideas, no weapons that I can use, so I guess this does suck for you, but I am going to have to get some random inspiration. So let's just, let's just pray, press this until we find something that could, an antenna. Can we turn this guy into an alien? Uh, oh! <laughs> we can make little en alien creatures. We've got an ant in there. Uh, oh, that doesn't even work. Sunglasses. Can we give this guy sunglasses? Nope, that's not working either. But look at this guy. He totally looks like an alien now. And of course, with all aliens, they need to be eliminated. And of course, with the rest of the aliens, you've got to make sure that the infection doesn't spread. So by shooting him a couple of times, this will fully get rid of the infection. Perfect. There we go. Excellent. 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 Boom. Whoa. What's this? A drainer. What does this do? Let me find out here. Um, does it, does it go on his head? Uh, I think it does. Oh, it like drains all the blood out of him. Oh my gosh. That is disgusting. So as you can see, this little uh, insect thing, it looks like an insect, but also looks like a helmet, goes right on top of his head, latches onto him, and just drains all the blood out of his body. What the heck? This is so twisted. There are so many crazy items like a lightsaber, a panic button, in case of panic. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press that. Oh, can I get him to press it? Oh, it worked, and the button itself started panicking. A plasma ball, okay. What does this do? Does this like... Oh, it just decapitated him. That's what it did. In fact, it just destroyed his head. What? A Pokeball? Wait, does this... Wait a second. Can I actually use this? Uh, oh, it like captured him into there. Ragdoll Man, I choose you. Um. Oh, that is not what's supposed to have happened there. Do I kind of just throw it down and it just... Hold on. Am I... Oh, I think you just bounce it off him. Although right now that just seems to be like <laughs> taking away his limbs and stuff. Rain apparatus. Okay, what? What? Oh, oh, it causes rain? Oh my gosh, he's getting soaked. Not only has he lost an arm, but he's also being soaked. We've also got a, stu a stun gun right here. Let me try that. Oh, it worked. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. It's just endless fun, isn't it? Uh, oh, a cube. There you go. Have one of those. It's got a love heart on it. A Czech hedgehog. What? What the heck is that? It doesn't look like any hedgehog I've seen. A property grenade. What does this do? If I drop this down, is that gonna do something? Uh, oh! What the heck? Oh, it's just dropped like lava everywhere or something. Oh, oh. What is going on? Everything's on fire and freezing and turning into rock. Wait, is this like an elemental grenade or something? Oh, dude, I think we found something today. I think we found something super special. Let me try this again. So we drop that, that right next to him. We detonate it. Oh my goodness, so it freezes him. I can hear fire somewhere as well. Oh, look at his leg. One of his legs just completely fell off. But for the most part, he's being frozen. Okay, let me launch this one again. Wait, what, did that work? Uh, oh! Oh my god, he just disappeared completely. All that's left is this fleshy chunk. Oh, I guess we'll blow it with, with a fan or something. Let me see. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> and I just cut it clean in half. So we can actually get a microwave as well. I wonder if we scale this thing up, can we put the ragdoll in there? Can we put a ragdoll in a microwave? Uh, let's see. Let's move him out of the way a little bit. Just put him there. Put this thing a little bit more forward. We don't want it to be too close or else it will squish him. There we go. You come back here. You're not getting away with it that easily. Can I open this thing up? Can I? Oh, it doesn't look like it can open. I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm pressing everything. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. Wait, what's he getting damaged by? Oh, it's just the friction. Just rubbing against him. It's burning him down. Oh my gosh. Okay, get in there. Maybe it's just you've just got to force him in or something. Okay, let's throw throw that that way. Or throw it that way. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that's weird. Oh, it's these giant trees that are, like, blocking everything. Oh my gosh, we can get actual lava. Can I just, like, put this down? Uh, oh, just dropped a bit of lava on his head. Oh my gosh, and he's turned into lava? Oh, I think he got melted down. Okay, let's make the floor lava. Let's do something like this. There we go. Okay, now this ragdoll is going to be performing a stunt for us. Okay, all he's got to do is get from point A to point B without dying. I could give him a toy plane to fly in. <laughs> If that works, let me just scale it up just a little bit. I wonder if he can actually get into this. Oh my 
gosh, it just got turned into lava. Um, okay. This whole space, space issue is a real disaster. Let me just put this lava over here. Let me get the toy plane. We'll shrink it down a little bit more. Just like that. Let me put this guy in there. Hold on. I might have to connect him together. Let me just weld him together, just like this. There we go. He is welded to the plane. Now can we make the plane go? Let me see here. Can the plane actually... Can it actually go? Can we trigger it? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Maybe if I give it a little push... Go! Oh, it didn't go very far. No! Jump! Oh my gosh, he's desperately trying to... No! He just got melted down into tiny chunks again. Well, what? What the heck just happened there? Okay, so I noticed we've got a bunch of different environments we can choose from. This one is blood. We've also got cave. Interesting. We've also got city. Oh, that's nice. We've got city night. Oh, mysterious. We've got a desert. Oh my gosh. Uh, a glacier. Oh, a bit chilly. We've got an ice hole. What? Where's this guy? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he just fell from the ceiling. We've got an island. Whoa, like a, his own personal island, that's cool. Like a survival island. I don't see this guy, so he probably failed at surviving already. Uh, jungle, which we've just been on, moon? Oh my gosh, what? Dude, that's so crazy. Poison, okay, let's get another ragdoll in here and let's see if poison actually does anything to him. He's just surviving right now, which is fine. Um, oh, is he surviving? I'm not sure, sky? Oh, is he just gonna fall? I'm pretty sure he's just gonna plummet to his death. Uh, snow, which we've already kind of seen in the form of the glacier. Uh, slope. Um, I don't see him anywhere. Tiny planet. <gasps> Wait, is the gravity like in the center? Oh my gosh, it is! Look at this! Oh my goodness! So he just always comes back to the center. Oh, he's spinning round and round. <laughs> well, <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, what I do want to- Oh, there's a rocket there. Look at this. We can get a toy rocket. Can we actually launch this thing? There it goes. Oh, the rocket is launching. Let's launch several of them. I wonder if they'll ever bump into this guy. I'm just going to get a bunch just like this, and we'll see if any of them manage to stri strike this ragdoll who is just flying around. This is ridiculous. <laughs> He's just spinning around. None of these seem to be hitting him, so we'll get a train in there as well. Go. Choo-choo. That's not really doing anything. Uh, can we get anything? Okay, let's put a sword in orbit. Why not? This is probably going to end up badly for him. He literally has to try dodge out the way of all of these blades. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all staying still now. What the heck? What gives? All right, so I've changed the environment to the moon because I saw something earlier that would be very awesome to use. The lightsaber. Look at this. We can actually make a Star Wars battle. This is going to be fantastic. If I can only just remember how to give this guy stuff. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, that's kind of just nudged him up a bit. Um, what was it? I think I've got it. I think I just need to go ahead and do something like- Yes, there we go. That's exactly what we need to do. Okay, lightsaber. Let's equip this with him. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, now activate it. Oh, he's got his lightsaber. Okay, we need another ragdoll here. We need another ragdoll with another lightsaber. There we go. And let's make this guy look like a Sith Lord. Let's get like a hood. Cultist hood. That works. There we go, kind of, sort of. Light saber. I saw we could get like a double lightsaber as well. Okay, so all we have to do is uh, make sure this guy is being connected. So let me just, uh oh, did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong. I think I, oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, double lightsaber for you. We can also change the color of the lightsaber, but that won't matter right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he just got ripped apart. Look at that. But at least he kind of won the battle. Right? Oh, we are going to dress this guy up like a proper Sith Lord here. Uh, we can get some shoulders right here. Perfect. Perfect. We can give him a skirt. Let's go for something like that. And now we need some kind of, I don't know, some kind of thing for his face. Let's go for mask. We can get an alien mask. Not what we want, really. Let's see what type of mask we can get. A balanced mask? What? Dude, chip mask? No, no, no. We need a special kind. A cool mask. That's not a cool mask. That's just a square. Dark gnome mask. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's a terrifying Sith Lord. Let me put this on his face if I can. Oh, I can't do it. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, we've got an evil gnome with a light saber. Here we go. Uh, so all I need to do is just go ahead and equip this guy with the light saber. Oh, it didn't, it didn't work for some reason. Oh, no. Oh, it activated. Stop. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, no gnome this time, just a regular dude with a lightsaber. We'll give him the lightsaber first. Now we'll give him the dark gnome mask. <laughs> this thing is so ridiculous. And there we go. Now we need some kind of space trooper. Oh, we got like a space helmet. Let me uh, let me get the ragdoll in first. So if we get a ragdoll, then we can go ahead and make like a uh, a stormtrooper or something, Guido. I don't know. Maybe some like space armor if we can. Futuristic armor. Is that a thing? Um. Oh man. Metal parts. I. Okay. Oh, fully repairs armor on collision. That's not what we want. There must be some, like, futuristic armor we can give this guy. We can give him a space helmet. Tactical. Oh, this might work. Uh, can we give him the tactical set? Let's go for that. Tactical. Oh, if I can spell it right. Tactical set. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got a Jedi Knight. <laughs> and we've got our Stormtrooper. Let's see the Jedi Knight use this lightsaber to strike down on his enemy. And charge! Oh, no, not your leg. Okay, it's fine. Good, good. Yes, he took his helmet off. He kicked him. And now he cut his own legs off. You were the chosen one, Anakin. Okay, I think he did it. Let's see what's left of this guy. Oh, my gosh, seriously? Okay, I'm going to have to help him out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Dude, what is my life? Where did the Jedi... Where did he go? Okay, he's still with it. Oh, not really, though. Okay, diving attack. No, he just cut his own face off. Okay, well, now I've just got the arm with the lightsaber. Go. Yes. Yes. This is how it works in the movies. Excellent, Guido. There we go. That was an epic star battle straight out of Star Wars with more blood and more gnomes. Oh, my gosh.